Hello guys, today it's another review and it's an Elite 2.0 Blaster. The Elite 2.0 Eagle Point. First, let's get onto the attachments. First attachment is the barrel, which is perfectly fit with the Eagle Point, even though on some other blasters it doesn't look super bad. It doesn't make your performance less good as it doesn't have a foam barrel like for the most length only this little section it has actually a barrel that makes drag so it's not going to decrease your performance and it also has a rail here to put your bipod or tripod if you have any of those then we have the scope which has two plastic lenses and has the targeting crosshairs on this side and it's cool like a cog looking scope then let's get onto the front of the blaster we, which which we have an end strike barrel lock which you can put the barrel on and then you have the cylinder which holds eight darts and it rotates counterclockwise like most blasters and it has this grip which is kind of weird to hold because then you will interrupt with your rotation of your cylinder uh, it's also perfectly fit it has a rail here rail here and rail on the barrel going here at the bolt which you can remove like that and you can interchange them, you don't have to have both which is pretty good because you for storage or something you, you prime it by pu pushing it back then forward it has auto retracting it has, it has a spring inside and then it fires and rotates then at the grip, grip is okay and it's comfortable considering it's a thumb hole stock and this thumb hole stock has a lot of space inside the problem with this grip is it has a small distance between the webbing of your hand where it goes and the trigger it's kind of the doom lens blaster but I think it's okay the, uh, the grip is okay it has a ton of space inside here so I I put like here my finger, shouldn't be a problem. Then you have an 8 dart holder on each side, see, where you, if you put your darts for too long they will get damaged but they won't fall out, so it's, that's good. The stock I think is perfect for me and if you are really big it might be too small, but it's not too big for small people. And this blaster also has slam fire, which means you hold on the trigger and when you reach the uh, back position, it will automatically fire and rotate while lowering your performance. This was the eternal review, now let's get onto the fire. First, Elite 2.0 blue darts, we're going to fight them normally without slam fire. Now we are going to shoot the orange little moto darts and we're going to slam fire. Ellie 2.0 Eagle Point. I like it as it's a DMR style blaster. I think it's pretty cool and it has some attachments. And it also has enough screws so you can open it up. Not many screws and it still has clips, but the good kind. And you can fix it, which I had some problems. The priming or the catch actually slipped once or twice, so I had to open it up and fix it, but it wasn't a big problem. It didn't break. And that's more mainly if you go too fast or too strong. But what do I think? First, let's say about the attachment. On the barrel, I think it's one of my favorite barrels as it doesn't hinder your performance 
and it gives a nice grip, especially on the eagle or the on the echo and some blasters. And I, when I want the barrel, I'll put this one. The scope is good because it's smaller and it doesn't have a crosshair right here, but here, so it's easy to see the crosshair, even though it doesn't help you. But I think it's better than the Phoenix scope. And about the eagle point, some people say it's oh it's a revolver, bolt a bolt action revolver. Yes, that is true. But I wouldn't say it as that. I would say it, it's a cylinder fed DMR style blaster. It's not a revolver, but it's cylinder fed. But you can call it a revolver. It, uh, if you want to have fa fun foam flinging, I would say you can buy this blaster, if, especially if you find it at a discount. But if you're looking for a performance blaster, I don't think this one is for you. You can mod it to put in a stronger spring, but I think this is not a blaster for you. I personally really like this blaster, and if you want to buy it, sure go buy it, I'll try and put a link down below to buy it, in Amazon and in my country. This was the review, I hope you liked the video, and I, and now school is near its end, so may I may in the near time I won't make as much videos as we are going to move to the village where we have a house and I'll have my own room as I share my room with my brother but I hope you like this video and don't remember to subscribe, like and watch this video <laughs> if you came to the end I'm thankful to you I my channel got much more good or viral than I thought. I thought like I would have like 10 subscribers. No, I have like 26, which is still low, but to me that's amazing. Anyways, this was the end. I my name is Nixie. Bye bye.